Hello everyone, happy Yom Kippur. I'm in between going to the synagogue. Um, I work today. Um, I, I'm fasting. You guys are getting me in a depleted state. Let's just get to the fight. Olo Wallen, 6-5 favorite over Dillian White. These two are going to be fighting as I'm seeing it here. October 30th, um, Dillian White, 33. Wallen, uh, Wallen is 30. Uh, uh, Dillian White is uh six four auto volin is um is six six uh about Dillian white 259 all wallen 236 78 reach for white uh 78 reach for wallen 28 fights two losses for Dillian white we'll get into his record in a bit auto volin 22 and one we'll talk about his record too most notable fight for him is obviously the tyson fury fight this is a 12 round fight three minute rounds uh, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule wave. Let's get right to it. And folks, I really don't know how this fight's gonna go. I could see uh, Dillian White uh, pecking, taking a decision over Otto, Otto Vollen, maybe cutting him, maybe uh, getting a thing like that. I could see Vollen uh, landing and uh, pulling off what, um, uh, whatchamacallit, what Alexander Povetkin did. So a lot to talk about in this fight as it begins. I'm gonna be organizing, I'm gonna be doing some things. Like I said, it's Yom Kippur. You guys are getting me um, in a depleted state. Um, I'm, I've been fasting. I'm going to break the fast uh, at sundown. Uh, L'chaim to life. I hope everyone is well out there. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope it's, it provides you some entertainment. And look, Dillian White already getting that left hand going. And um, yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll, we will have to see how this bout goes. Um, all right, and Dillian and Volen going to the body on Dillian White. Um, all right, just doing this. Um, and uh, all right, so we have that. And then SM. And then uh, Okay, so perfect. Uh, yeah. Um, all right. So yeah, that 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 it's, it's, things are pretty uh, simple. Um, pretty simple. Sorry, I'm, I'm guys. Like I said, I am food deprived. I'm pretty much everything deprived right now. I got to. Uh, I'm getting myself um, organized. Um, and right now, Wallen kind of doing what he did against Tyson Fury, sort of pecking a little bit, going to the body. I think for him, it's a long game. Go to the body, try to wear White down, and then take him out. Uh, maybe catch him slipping like the Povetkin fight. Dillian White, I think, just wants to outbox him and, you know, show that Otto Wallen, you know, he can do what Tyson Fury did. Wallen, I, I don't think, outboxed Tyson Fury much. I, I just think Tyson Fury was bloody. It was, it was, a, it was an ugly fight. But Tyson Fury... No doubt one. All right. So like I said, I am organizing things here. I need to get some water. I am drinking water today. Some people, uh, some people do not. Um, I need to. So it's just one of those things. I'm just going to do it, and that's that. <laughs> um, all right. All right. All right, so that's the end of that. Um, I, I think, uh, ooh, Otto Wallen taking that on one judge's scorecard, another judge giving it to Wallen. And uh, another judge giving it to Volum. So let's just get right to this, folks. I'm moving through this. I don't want to be late to the synagogue. Not, um, you know, I, I do have some time. I just figured I got to keep myself busy, especially when I'm fasting. People said, oh, I take the day off, blah, 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 watch a bunch of movies. No, I would have gone to the synagogue. I would have been really, really, really hungry. And uh, yeah, I just do not want to be in that uh, position. It's a volume landing. All right, so volume landing on uh, Dylan White. Oh, look at him, White landing from a distance, trying to get some get back against Otto Wallen. 
Wallen, Wallen trying to do something himself. Folks, we're going to see a lot in this fight. I'm telling you, we're going to see a lot. I got to get some water. Oh, look at that. Wallen coming in. Maybe he senses something. Dillian White. Um, looks great. You know, looked, looks great in getting his um, get back versus um, versus uh, what's going to call it? Who did he get that against? Um... Folks, I can't even think. Can't even think. He beat Alexander Povetkin in the rematch. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna be right, right back, folks. I'm telling you, you guys are getting the depleted version of me, but we gotta keep the podcast going. All right, so let's see what happened in this round. Two rounds in, saying White's obviously tired. Wallen's breathing heavy. Look at that, Dillian, Dillian White, 9-10. One judge has it even. Another judge gives it to Wallen. So Wallen doing something here, folks. He's five points up. We go into the third round. Dillian White for Sato Wallen. Once again, you're watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Um, I'm sorry, like, comment, and follow. We thank you for everyone that follows. Looking to get to 200 subs. That would be awesome. I'd like to have 200,000. I'd like to have 2 million, you know, but we'll see. And no matter what, just going to keep doing it because it's fun. I feel this is a different kind of podcast. And hopefully, you know, the, the, the people that watch it really, really enjoy it because I love doing it. Oh, look at that. Wallen kind of pressing now. Does he see an opening? Wallen's going for it, folks. He thinks he sees something. He doesn't hit. I don't believe he hits that hard, so I only gave him average power. I think that he hits hard if he can get guys' attention. I don't think he's a necessarily a knockout puncher, but you may not need to be that against Dillian White. I think you can land right. I think maybe he can possibly be outworked, potentially, but we'll see. Dillian White's also a boxer, sharp guy. He's been around. He knows the distance. So, you know, while he's behind in this fight, I mean, this is just a... Look at what the fight could be for Dillian White when he fights Otto Otto Vall. It is a simulation.
All right. Wallen looking to have taken this round too. White just saying, white side of the same. Wallen side. This could maybe not bode well for Wallen. He could get hit with something, but he is now running the numbers on Dillian White. 10 nines all across the board as we now move into the fourth round of Dillian White versus Otto Wallen. Looking at the record of Wallen, like I said, um, he has victories over Dominic Braziel, uh, Travis Kaufman, Tyson Fury. And that's pretty much it as far as like names that I, I think would be recognizable to most people. I'm not, I'm, I'm, this doesn't, you know, it's not a saying about his record. It's just, you know, there's a lot of fighters, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, pretty decent for Otto, for Otto Wallen. But, you know, obviously the biggest name was the Tyson Fury loss. And, 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 and it was a loss that brought him a lot of attention. And, you know, it's obviously he's kept, he stayed with ESPN. And, or I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, I don't know if he stayed with ESPN, but he's gotten more, more uh, fights. Oh, White fighting back, cracking Otto Wallen. Look at that. Wallen's got to be careful, folks. He may have wait, awoken the sleeping giant as these two are just going for it now. All right, so who knows, maybe uh, Dillian White trying to punch his way back in the fight. It doesn't look like it. Wallen taking that round on one judge's card, another judge's card, and another judge's card. All right, so we are going to um, now uh, get to the record of Dillian White in this round. Right now, Wallen up by 11 points as he just seems to be outworking, outlanding uh, Dillian White who maybe did not expect such a durable out of Wallen as Dillian White has landed some of his best shots on him and Wallen hasn't even blinked.
<laughs> oh, and Wallen's just going for it. I think he thinks that maybe there's something he can do here. Maybe there's a... Uh... A spot for him? I don't know. All right. Oh, and just punching White into the ropes. We're going to get to his record in a minute. Um, All right, just saying White's very tired. Wallen's obviously tired. Now it's a bruised rib. 10-8, 10-8, 10-8, all for Dillian White. Can White go to the body and pull this fight out? He's behind by 17 points. Um, he's not looking, it's not looking good, but he has hurt Otto Wallen. And can Dillian White pull this out a little bit? Oh, he goes to the body again. Is this going to be the kind of thing that White, that White almost gets, I'm sorry, that Wallen gets almost all the way there, but then White just pulls it out. We're going to have to see, folks. We are going to have to see. These guys are going for it now. You have Wallen going to the body. He wants to hurt, but he has not really hurt Dillian White. Um, looking at the record of Dillian White, folks, I mean, he really is. He's one of the, the most. He, 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 few people deserve title shots um, more than him. He eventually lost Alexander Povetkin, beat Marius Walk, Oscar Rivas, Derek Tesora, Joseph Parker, Lucas Brown, Robert Hellenius, uh, Derek Tesora twice. Um, and he fought Anthony Joshua. He lost to Joshua. But um, I'm just saying he has a he has a who's who on his on his resume. He's fought a lot of known guys. And if anyone could pull this out, it's him. But he's gonna have to dig down deep because Wallen right now is outworking him. But can he keep up this pace with that bruised rib? All right, and so that concludes that that round. White's very tired. Wallen's obviously tired and has a bruised bruised rib. 10-9, 10-9, all for Otto Wallen. Folks, he's been winning this out of the gate going, going forward. We're going to see, can he keep it up? 
He's now down. Dillian White's now down by 20 by 20 points. There's six more rounds to go. Probably at the point where Dillian White probably needs a knockout or a bunch of really, really big, big rounds. But Will Otto Ballin, as he pushes forward, walking into something. He's got that bruised rib. Oh, and he wobbles Dillian White. He goes to the body. Oh, he goes to the body. Can he hurt him? Can White hang on? Can White figure this out? It's getting, it's getting, it's getting exciting, folks. Oh, and Wallen's going for it. And he hurt White there. White's not putting out the way he needs to do it. But I'm just saying one punch can change anything. And if Wallen gets tired, catches himself something, White will be there. But right now it's all Otto Wallen, folks. Oh, Wallen continuing to go to the body, continuing to press. He would like nothing more than to than to get that than than to get that victory. Alright, um, once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're seeing, sorry about the commentary. I'm kind of in a million different places all at once today. Uh, if you like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links. Or I'm sorry, like, comment, and follow. Um, I hope that you're enjoying this. Uh, you know, it is, you know, Yom Kippur, and I'm, you know, I'm just, you know, just in between. I've been fasting, but I'm here. I'm trying. I'm trying to give you guys everything I can give you on this podcast. As we do Dylan White. I'm telling you guys, Wallen is ahead right now. 10-8, 10-9, 10-8 on this. And I think, I'm telling you, I think they're gonna stop it and Dylan White's gonna is, is gonna is gonna win this. He now is up by 25 points, is out of Wallen, but Wallen now has a broken rib, and all White needs to do is tap him there a few times. And this potentially stops that, stop, stops the fight, folks. And if that happens, oh man. That this is going to be crazy because Otto Wallen has fought a tremendous fight, but he has a broken rib, folks, and this game will stop the fight. That would negate all the good work that Wallen has done. Let's see if that if that happens. As Wallen now presses his attack, he has to know that he's in pain. He doesn't want to lose. He doesn't want this to get stopped. But at the same time, can White outlast him, which is what would happen if he got the victory. Oh, look at that. Wallen's going for it, folks. He's throwing a lot of punches. Is Dillian White going to be able to pull this off? He's already broken his rib. Can he continue to punch him? Can he continue to land in such a way that it will affect out of Wallen? Oh, White now wobbled again by, by, by an uppercut. Folks, a lot going down here. A lot going down.
Sorry, I'm bringing up something that I'm doing right now. All right. And uh, here, we'll go to this. And, and right now, Dylan White losing this, getting punched. I mean, you know, but he's not hurt in a way that they can visibly see it. He's not doing much, but he's, but the fact that he's landing, the fact that he's throwing shots, it, I mean, anything can happen, folks. We're now, we got four rounds left to this, of this fight. White is very tired. Wallen's obviously tired and has a broken ribs. 10-8 is probably going to be across the board, all for Otto Wallen as he's come in. And look at that, 10, he's... He's now up by 31 points as we go into the ninth round. Can Dillian White pull something out? Oh, Dillian White drops out of Allen, who was, oh man, is he going to fill him? Oh, wow, folks. Dillian White dropping out of Allen. Is this a, is, is a comeback afoot? Wallen, bruised rib, gets up, just got caught. Wow, gets right up, has the bruised rib. Dillian White now has a knockdown in the bank. Is Dillian White going to be able to hang on longer? And eventually, will this get stopped? Wow, folks. High drama here on Yom Kippur. Like, I am, like, I am, like, I am. Oh, and White now wobbled. Otto Wallen coming out of his comfort zone and starting to land, folks. We're seeing great action late in this heavyweight fight. You don't tend to see that, but these guys are going for it. Both of them, both of them want this. And Dillian White, has he found the key to Otto Wallen? Has he figured this out a little bit? Can he, did, did he breathe new life into, into this fight with that knockout? We're going to have to see, folks. Oh, Dillian White. Now White has a bruised rib. Ballin has a broken rib. 10-9, 10-9, 10-8. All for Dillian White. Is he going to start mounting a comeback, folks? He's going to need a knockout to win. Now we're getting into the championship rounds. What is going to happen? If I'm Dillian White, I draw Otto Ballin out. Why go in and get his rib hurt? Can Dillian White pull this out, folks? Can he figure something out?
Oh, hard punch is being landed. Oh, the referee stopped it. Wallen's in pain. Folks, Dylan White outlasted him. He did what I said he would do. OMG, I knew that this was going to happen. Look at that. Dylan White gets the victory over Otto Wallen. Wallen totally ahead. He's going to go berserk. It's going to be crazy. Wow, folks. Wow, Dylan White coming on late. They, the computer picked out of all. This is why I love this boxing game. This is why there's no other better boxing game in the world. Because no other boxing game would have done this. No, I mean, it, it would have been something where Wallen would have come in, blah, 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 broken him down. They would have stopped it. Um, they, they, they would have shown punches. It would have been a super punch. It does not happen in this game, folks. This game is real boxing, personified. Both of the fighters were were in there. Volin, you know, doing well, but got that bruised rib. Then it became a broken rib. Dillian White just in there landing, finding moments, finding it, timing it. And he hung on, folks, and he did it. The winner, Dillian White, by TKO. The fight lasted 10 rounds. White was not knocked down and has a bruised rib. Wallen was knocked down one time and has a broken rib. And I'm telling you, if Wallen does not go down in that last round, I don't know that they stopped this fight, but they probably saw something. But as you look at the scores, Aldo Wallen has every reason to be upset. He's up 89-79, 89-81, 88-79. Folks, this was Otto Wallen's fight to lose, and he lost it, but not for any reasons of his own. He gave a great effort. It was a great fight. Thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. Um, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Or like, comment, and follow. Please share these links. Uh, please tell your friends. Um, and our motto here at Boxing Time TV is, why wait? Watch it now. Then watch the real thing when it airs on October 30th. It's going to air. And, and wow, 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 wow.